hey, Sora here, and I'm the creator and founder of the Posh Girls Club, the fastest growing community for female entrepreneurs to learn, connect, and grow their brands. I also own the agency, a social media and digital marketing firm, where we help people grow their brands with automation, um, running their social media for them, um, design for branding, uh, content strategy, building their sales funnels, all sorts of things that we do over at the agency. And I have put together um, weekly videos that I'm gonna come and do for you each week, five, 10 minute tops, and um, just give you some more value of things that you can do inside of your business right now to make changes using Instagram, particularly um, in social media to grow your brand. I've been in business for over 17 years. I've worked with some of the biggest celebrities and brands of the last decade, iconic celebrities. And um, I'm sharing my tips and information with you so that you can grow your brands. All right, so today, we're gonna cover hashtags. Hashtags is one of the um, best ways that you can grow your brand. It's one of the easiest ways, um, but it's also one of the most confusing for a lot of people because a lot of people are doing it wrong. <laughs> Um, but if you get it right, and I'm going to give you five tips to help you, if you get it right, it changes everything. Organic reach all day, every day. Okay. All right. So number one, the first thing that I know, um, that will change your hashtag game. Most people, and I would say a good 97% of the people that come into our master classes and our um, challenges, when they leave, that when they get in, they're completely shocked because this is one of the things that they've done consistently. They're posting for their market instead of for the type of customer that they want. So, for example, if I have a lot of ladies in my um, groups that sell hair, okay? So if you sell hair, you're not gonna wanna post things like virgin hair, raw hair, um, things that describe your product, things that describe your market. Instead, you'd want to post for uh, the kind of customer that would want that product. So you really have to spend time digging into who your customer is and really understanding them. And that's why it's there's enough room for everyone because everybody's ideal customer isn't gonna be the same. Some women might be at, um, targeting, you know, beach blondes um, out in La La Land. Some women might be targeting um, girl bosses, you know, those uh, entrepreneur hustle girls. Your audience is gonna look completely different every single time. Some might be uh, targeting corporate, corporate looks, corporate styles. That is, um, it all goes down to uh, who your target audience is, okay? All right, so that's, the, that's number one. Number two, shadow ban. The shadow ban is real. I know, they keep saying there's no shadow ban. Let's be real, there's a shadow ban. I have seen the shadow ban and that's how I know it's real. When your numbers go down, and even that could also attach to the, um, the algorithms as well. But your numbers go up and down and, and when they do those big changes, like they just did like two or three days ago, You've noticed the difference. I'm gonna tell you exactly how you get around that. So the way to do that is, number one, you always need groups of hashtags. Not like one set that you're gonna use all the time, one set of 30. Break it up, split that group of 30, but I would even suggest having multiple groups of 30, okay? Split those hashtags up um, and don't use them back to back in each post. So our strategy, would be to use, if you've got one set of 30, split it in half, use the first 15 in one, use the second 15 in another, and just keep rotating it like that. It makes a huge difference, okay? Trust me. <laughs> All right, um, number three is gonna be add hashtags. You can add your hashtags either to your comments or into your posts. It doesn't matter, okay? Switch it up again, um, that will keep you in your top posts for your niche market. And I could go on and on about um, making it into top posts. I'll probably have to get it in another video, okay? Because we go top nine every single time we post and we stay in our top hashtags. Um, and there's definitely a strategy to getting to the right hashtags and how to build up 
But like I said, we'll do that one in another video. And just comment below if that's something that you wanna see, if you wanna know how you need to build up your hashtag strategy. And that way I'll know if that's something that you'd like to have a video of, okay? All right, so hashtag in comments or hashtag in the post, it doesn't matter. The key is to switch them up consistently, all right? Number four, this is one of my absolute favorites. Number four is gonna be turn your video, your um, photo into a video. So easy, so profound. When we scroll through, when I scroll through um, our different pages, it is insane to see the difference when you do make the photo into a video. And again, if you want that one in a separate video, I can do that as well, because I'm trying to keep you short. <laughs> okay, so yeah, make your photo into a video. Don't just post a photo every time because photos don't go as viral as video does. And you don't necessarily, like even our quotes, we can turn into um, video and they get way more views, all right? That's tip number four. Um, tip number five, and that really wasn't a hashtag tip, but that was just one that I really wanted to tell you. <laughs> um, tip number five is use hashtags in your story but don't use them back to back. So you wanna make your story views get, you wanna increase your story views, easy breezy. Add your hashtag, but if you've got like, for us, sometimes we'll do, uh, sometimes even seven story graphics that go together because we're telling a story in the story. <laughs> um, but every single one doesn't get hashtags because what'll happen is the shadow ban, the non-existent shadow ban. Okay, so <laughs> they swear there's not a shadow man, but there is. So I'm telling you, if you want your stories to get more views, use just a few. Um, it used to be where you could add a ton of them, but now you have to add just a few into your, your story. But you can also then squinch it down so that no one can see the hashtags. So I have to do a video, I think, where you can see it being, you know, squeezed down. But basically, you're just gonna pinch it down until the hashtag is non-existent. So it doesn't look all spammy and gross in your post. But don't do it on every single one. Like you can do rotate it. And if you're gonna rotate with hashtags, do one set of hashtags in the first post. And then in the third or fourth, do another set of hashtags. Don't do the same set. All right, those are my five tips on using hashtags and then the one of course about the video because I love that. <laughs> so I should say four and then the one, okay, on using hashtags in your business. Um, that is it. If you have any questions, drop your drop them in the comments below and like, comment, and share if you want to be entered to enter a um, giveaway each week um, for a strategy session with yours truly. That's it. Keep hustling, girls.